Janet Rich, uh, police took six people into custody, three men and three women, but so far only one has been charged on a felony drug charge. Police Chief Shepard said they seized, believe it or not, 18 dogs at this house in total. And the chief also said there was dog fighting going on at this property. The raid involved more than a dozen officers, some of them undercover drug officers. I heard three shots. They came at the truck with the guns drawn, and they shot three times, and I ran in the house, shaking, scared. Police served two warrants and seized drugs and dogs. We saw city police officers remove dog after dog, and several people were led away in handcuffs to awaiting patrol cars. Three dogs were shot. Two of the dogs are deceased. Uh, one of the dogs uh, did bite one of the officers in the lower leg and the calf. The chief wouldn't elaborate on just what kind of dog fighting was going on in the house. A lot of times what you find when there's uh, drug sales is also uh, illegal weapons. And with illegal weapons, uh, it does put a little bit of fear in our officers when they make those uh, warrant executions. The house on Norton Street backs up to a small street called Eminon Street, where residents say the house has been attracting people at all hours. They back, go backwards down the street, like the 40 miles, 50 miles an hour. We can't even park on the street because it's so bad, because there's so much traffic go back and through. And besides, it's four, four or five kids over there, small kids. Police also found a safe inside the house and used a sledgehammer and crowbar to open it. This resident said she was happy to see her tax dollars being used for something. This is good to see the police at work using our tax dollars effectively. I wish I could think of all for coming to take these people to jail today. I hope it's going to be effective and they can shut this down because they just moved from there to the corner, up the street. We can't go to the store. We can't play in the yard. Chief Shepard told me that the officer that was bitten on the leg was treated and released from the hospital. He wouldn't specify what type of drugs were in the house, Janet. And Ray, what's the city's, uh, the city police department's policy on shooting pit bulls or any other threatening animals? The chief said if the dogs are aggressive and don't back off when officers enter a house, those officers are empowered to shoot for their own safety and to prevent people inside the house from using the time the dogs are stalling the police from stashing evidence or worse, getting out their own weapons. So that's pretty standard policy for the city. All right, Ray Lovato live in our newsroom tonight. Thank you.